Hi everyone and welcome to Big Oggy Golf. In today's video I'm back at Falmouth Golf Course. If you've seen my earlier on-course vlogs you'll know that this was the first place I actually did film one hole with the wireless mic and everything all set up. But it was just a test and so today I thought we'd play a few of the first holes. May do four, may do five depending on what time we have and the weather. It's getting a bit greyer but hopefully we'll be okay. It's quite strong wind today. This is the first. It's uh, 355 par four. Now I get two shots because I'm still 34.1, but we're just gonna play it and see what happens. Now it's predominantly straight and uphill with a slight dog leg to the right when you get further up. So, just see how it goes. Haven't had a chance to warm up or anything, so this could be a bit awkward. A bit of a draw but that's kind of my natural shot anyway but that's fine we'll take that now that was a pretty good shot for me the draw has brought it onto the light rough and i am quite near a tree i'm not used to trees playing in west cornwall that's purely a lynx course and there isn't a tree to be seen so this is a whole new experience for me now i also haven't been very well prepared today i rushed out of the house thought I had all the camera equipment, which I do, but I forgot my GPS watch. So, the yardages are gonna be a guesswork too. But we're gonna try and punch a six iron out, try and keep it away from the tree, and try and get somewhere near the green. There's a bunker in the front, so we just keep going. I think that was a lot of call lucky, through the tree. Now, just caught the tree, and we're just on the other side of the fairway. I could definitely dislike trees. Now, thanks to my accidental brush with the tree, we're on the other side of the fairway. We went a fair distance, but diagonally. And the green is probably about 80 yards away. I'm going with a nine iron and just gonna try and get it up near. That should be pretty good, that's okay. We'll take that. Now I've never played the course before and I've only walked a couple of the holes. So it's all very new for me. I thought the green was just past this bunker. Unfortunately, it's another 40 yards further on. So we're off to a pitching wedge now to try and get near the green. Just on the right, that'll have to do. Well, here we are. This is the this is my fifth shot. I'm on the edge of the green, just on the fringe. I really need to try and get this in in two because that's obviously the six that I've got. Now, what it has shown me so far is that you really need to have some kind of GPS nowadays or some kind of way of judging distances properly because certainly as a beginner, guessing distances just don't work. Still, we carry on. Still quite windy, winds in my face. Take glasses off, they don't work. I think it's a uh, left to right from what I can see, and a mound at the top. That's a bit fast. That, that's probably off the other side. Again, this. Another thing about not being prepared, you need to go and get some practice time on the putting green before you come here, or you're going to play any course. Otherwise you're not going to judge your speeds. Uh, it's been a lot of rain here. 
we'll take that as a seven. Still, we carry on. Every hole is a learning curve. Okay, here we are on the second. Second is from the yellow tees, which we're playing off 150 yard par three. And it's straight uphill. And from what I can see, there are two bunkers on the right. I'm not sure what's on the left. So we need to be try and be accurate here if we can. This tee is also a shared tee. The 11th is just over here and they go back down the hill that we've come up. So let's see how we go. Six iron into the wind. Pretty good, good bounce. We could be on the green. We could be on the green. Wow, let's keep going. Well, here I am ready for the second shot. I thought I was on the green and I was just one foot short, but that's okay. Accuracy is the key on this hole by the look of it. Two big bunkers on this side, bunker on that side. So where I am, pretty much perfect. Better bounce, it would have just rolled onto the green and kept going. Now, I'm quite a long way from the hole. I have to say the hole is pretty much the other end. So if I get this in three, I'm probably quite happy. Let's try and get close anyway. That's about as good as I could get, I think. Let's go a bit closer. Well, wasn't bad. I'm left with a, about a 12 foot putt, but I did hit it about 50 feet. So for me, if I can get this down in two and we take a four for this, I'll be really happy. But let's be positive, let's try and go for a three. A little bit to the right. But Yes, we do. Uh, another handful of water, been a lot of rain here, but that's a four. Certainly can't complain with a four. Okay, this is the third hole at Falmouth Golf Club. This is a par five, and it's a heck of a par five, actually, I have to say. White tees, it's 501 yards. We're playing off the yellow, which is 486. Currently into a wind that's so strong I can't keep a hat on. So that's not going to be fun. If you can see on the camera, it kind of goes straight on. And then if you follow the people that are now walking across, because their shot boomerang to the left on their first shot, they're now going to walk straight across to the right and then up over the hill. So I'm going to go with a three wood because, well, if I hit a bad drive, it's just going to end up in the sea. Everything slopes to the left here, if you miss this fairway. And with the wind the way it's going, hey, go anywhere. So I'm going to be very generous with myself and let them carry on a bit further. Not that I ever think I'm going to get that far. But I'm going to drop down into a dip now because the yellow tees are slightly lower than the white tee. Up to the right, but with a bit of luck, might be okay. Might be okay. Not on the fairway, but we might be okay. So the next shot, I'm actually now on the seventh fairway. This is a par three, but we're going the opposite direction, obviously. We are still going straight up. There's a hedge in front of me and a bunker even further up. Just keep on going with this, with this, I'm afraid. Keep on going, John. Chop that out with my hybrid and see where we end up. Okay, so that last shot wasn't too bad. We're right on the edge of the fairway now. 
correct fairway that is. I'm going to hit a 5 iron and try and get it somewhere near the green. The green is behind all these trees and more to the big tree on the right, not the one on the left. Wind is really howling again. Not fun. That could be pretty good though. It's short. We knew it was going to be short in this wind, but that's okay. As I said already, it was a little bit short. Not too bad though. We're just going to go the 50 wedge and try and get up on the green if we can. See, I'm going to learn my lessons. Remember my lessons? Brush the grass, John. Brush the grass. Well, it's on the green. That's all we wanted. Now I'm just going to let another couple of golfers come through. But I am just on the back of the green. Pins just here. So to get me here after my third shot, I've got to be happy with that. This is a tough hole. Certainly uphill, facing into the wind, difficult. Certainly difficult for me, but we did okay so far. So we'll let them play through and then we'll try and put this out. Okay, we let those lads play through. Great bunch of lads. They're from Scunthorpe and they've come down, you know, to enjoy the coastline, enjoy Cornwall a bit and to play some golf down here. Maybe you should do too. I hope you can still see. It's very difficult trying to line up cameras and also play at the same time. But again, I'm on the light fringe, so we'll leave the flag in the hole. Come on, I want some run, come on. No, that's okay. About six feet, seven feet maybe now. But this should be, I think, for a five. I'll check that and correct it later if it's wrong. Oh, just to the right. Another wet hand, but we'll certainly take that on this hole today. I have to say, that might have been a tough hole, but I really enjoyed it. So, let's see where we go to next. Okay, we're at hole four. This is 229 yards off the white. We're still playing off the yellow, so it's 214. And I've got to disappear into this dip for another lower tee. So you might just see the top of my head on this shot. It's straight down. Two bunkers on the left, one bunker on the right. Flag near the front. Gonna go five iron, 220 yards, downhill. Let's see what happens. Like I said, I've got to go down the slope. Hopefully I'm still in shot. But let's put this over a little bit. Oh, before we say anything else, out of bounds on the right. Out of bounds, brambles, barbed wire, and lots of nastiness on the right. As you'll see if you've just read the sign I've just put on. Let's see how we go. It's a little bit to the right, but not serious. Good bounce. On the fairway, still rolling, a little bit short, but I can't really complain with that. Not with a five iron. Not with my swing. So, let's carry on. Okay, second shot. Well, first one was actually pretty good for me. Again, lovely and straight, there's not enough distance. It's definitely got a sweep here from right to left. Flags on the front. 
I'm going to go with a hybrid just for a bit of fun. Pretty short grass, it's all downhill. I can't complain with that, I can't complain with that. Not quite a two, but we'll definitely get a par now. I think we're about that much away from the hole. I love tightless hybrids. I really do. There are days when you play golf that you really hate, but some days when things go right, like that, you know why you play, and you come back and you play the games that you hate just because you want to do this again. So, it's exactly one putter width away. We'll tap it in for a three. And this time, there's no water in the hole either. Fantastic. And I was going to just do four holes, but I really enjoyed that one, so I think we'll play another one, shall we? Come on. Okay, well that was quite a ride down from the fourth to the fifth. And as they say, what goes down must go up. And the fifth hole is straight up there. Back up the hill, 334 yards. The white and yellow tees are, well, not even a yard between them. So we're going to go three wood. No real danger as far as I can see, unless I hook it to the left, which is quite possible, and put it in some stuff I don't want to get into. But it's kind of getting up there, and that's all I can get at the moment, so that's good. Let's keep going. It really is a steep hill up, up the slope. It's kind of like that. So we've actually done a pretty good distance and it's only just off the fairway. So I'm going to go for hybrid and try and get it further up the fairway so we can try and see what's the other side of this wall. The green's got to be up there somewhere. Yeah, I'll take that. Very pleased with that. Let's go. Just wanted to show you how far down we've been teeing off from. So, I'm glad I got a buggy today because I wouldn't fancy walking up and down this hill a lot. So, let's just turn around a second. Okay, it's a, it's a heck of a hill and I'm glad we got the buggy. But I think we're going to go eight iron and try and get it up near the flag. There's a big bunker on the left. So again, we're going to try and stay a bit right. Just play safe for this hole. Yeah, a little bit short, but not entirely unexpected when everything is at such a steep slope. So this is my fourth shot, and to be honest, this hole's paying a lot longer than it says it would be. Because this slope is just really high. But we're nearly there. So I'm just going to try and get up onto the green. Again, I can't complain with that at all. So I went past the flag. About 12 feet past. So it has everything from this distance straight downhill. So we do. Oh, too fast, too fast. Well, pop it in, and I'm pretty sure that was a six, but that's okay. Six on a par of four, I get two shots. I'm not complaining with that. Let's go to the next one. 
Okay, this is the sixth hole. This is the last hole we're going to play today. It's about 330 yards from the yellow points. And it's pretty much straight down with a bit of left to right, sorry, a bit of right to left. So we'll see how we go with the three wood. That's okay, coming round and staying on the fairway. Middle of the fairway. I can't argue with that. Let's keep going. So here we are at the second shot. Downhill came beautifully down on the right to left. And we're still in the middle of the fairway. So we're going to go with a six iron. Green's pretty much in front of me, but again, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of problems on the left. There's bunker on the left, so hit up to the right and everything will probably get taken that way. I've gone left, but hopefully I've gone too left. Actually, that's okay. Let's avoid the bunker anyway. Okay, third shot. Well, I went a long way left. But not too far left, I ended up in the brambles and thickets around here that you can't get out of. And if I'd gone a bit straighter, I would have probably ended up in the bunker. So it's about uh, 20, 25 yards to the flag. I've got a 55 wedge, but I'm just trying to pitch it out and get up over that lip onto the green. That'll do. Oh, that'll do me. Okay, so we're about 15 feet from the hole. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, about 15 feet. Put the flag down. This is for a four. Or maybe a five. Five it is. Splash. A lot of water. So, I hope you enjoyed coming round on the first six holes at Farmworth Golf Club. We'll come and film the others at another time. The weather's just setting in now. A little bit of sunshine, but an awful lot of grey clouds and the wind's still picking up quite strongly so I think it's time to head to the bar and get a quick drink and then off home to do some video editing if you enjoyed this and you enjoy the things on my channel please give a thumbs up please subscribe the more subscribers we get the bigger we get and the more interest YouTube takes of us and obviously that means I can also give out more prizes and bigger and better things and I'm going to be starting something soon called A Round With Oggy. If you're a certain age, you'll remember A Round With Alice. And I'll try and be a bit more exciting than him. But we're going to make a, some videos about me playing other people. So you can be either like me, just a beginner, and we can hack a ground, of course. Or you can be really good. You can be professional. I'll take on all comers, it'll be a bit of a laugh and it's more to show that it doesn't really matter what handicap you are and who you're playing against, you can still have fun. So young and old, male, female, professional, amateur, let's just have some fun. We'll go on a course, we'll have a bit of a laugh and we'll film it as well. I'll wireless mic you up as well and we can just have a chat and a conversation about yourselves and your life as we play golf. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.